what is good good viber how are you doing today it's your girl esther joe coming at you with another video all right fam we're going to be talking about fear okay if you tapped on this video then you might be thinking one of two things okay esther why would i fear anything okay that's a big form of control and we're going to talk about it we can literally see right now currently in the world there is this understanding that fear is being used to control people okay and it might be being used in your case as well so let's address it and let's dive into it a little bit okay so the first thing is that we gotta acknowledge that we all have fear it's not going anywhere it's just the same thing it's happiness sadness we have fear and fear is physical it actually has physical effect those hormones that it's releasing in the adrenaline glands are getting your adrenaline all hyped up so that you can go in fight or flight mode right so that you can get out of that situation that you find threatening your body finds threatening because of whatever externally is happening now there's also an understanding that not only are you getting fired up but it's also turning off that part of your brain where you have the logical judgment and perception of the world okay so instead of logically kind of judging things you are now hyper focused and like fired up to fight or flight okay fight fight or fly away all right so this is actually what's happening when we get fearful we literally physically have this reaction to it and just like any other emotion that we have which is physical mental it's all multi-dimensionally experienced we have it for a reason and it's been misused for a very long time so what do I mean by that? Well, obviously you can look at how fear is being used as a tactic to get people to comply. Do this to keep us all safe. If you don't, more people will die. People are fearful of death. And I'm going to be honest, that fear of death, when you have that fear of death, you're not thinking anymore. You're just hyper fixating on that fear. You got your adrenaline glands all going up and your adrenaline glands are connected to your root chakra. So you're actually kind of rooting yourself in the situation. It's not always the best thing, okay? Fear of death results in many things, okay? There are so many things that we do to avoid this idea. Even though we know that we're all going to leave this earth one day, there's still some fear that is clouding our vision of how to live our best lives. And I could use the example that many people live their whole life thinking that some miraculous thing is going to happen and then they'll be living the life that they always wanted instead of just realizing that they could die tomorrow and instead of fearing that and trying to run away from it and deny that it's a reality living their life to the fullest and i won't go too much into this because i know i made a video yesterday talking all about how much your time should be valued very much okay so let's just get into it okay so i mentioned and there's a lot of misconceptions around fearing of god because of how it's been portrayed right the church will be like yo if you have done anything bad ever and then you better fear for your life because you're going to hell unless you pay us a teeth or something like that a tithe a teeth i'm not sure and we'll give you some hail marys and you just like say that and you'd be good now these people don't have fear of God because they're pretty much using the same mechanism of fear that we see being used right now, uh, but on a kind of, you know, on that scale. And this is horrible, okay? That's not what the Bible meant when it said fear God, okay? The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. No, okay? The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom when you understand what that means, okay? It doesn't mean to be horrified and to be just straight up petrified because you know god's gonna like strike you dead with lightning or something no and there have been so many misconceptions of this idea that fear is something that is so bad even though we have it for a reason it's just been misused so much and distorted in such a way that we often don't even understand what the reason would be for having fear so we're going to share a little bit of how we can redirect that fear when you properly and effectively fear have the fear of god instilled in your spirit then you will no longer fear death or for that matter anything because you understand that God, source of all life, consciousness, 
the living oneness creator that is dwelling through all living creation within you and every single cell, little being of light that we interact with, they are all connected. So when they meant fear of God, they didn't mean like God's going to come, you're going to do something wrong and they're going to be like, all right, hell you go. No. This was to understand that there is something called alignment. And when you are out of alignment, you are no longer in the most, you could say, hmm, I want to say most desired state of reality. We live in infinite possibilities and a lot of people want that freedom and they feel like that fear is controlling them. And fear kind of does do that. It kind of does control you a little bit. Again, it turns off your judgment centers and your logic centers and it makes you take action. A lot of the times charged with emotion. So how can we use fear in a case where it can benefit us in this reality? Well, if you think about it, if you want to be aligned in your life, if you want to truly have a sense of alignment with source, source being the infinite possibilities and realms that are already created for us to experience, then we need to have certain controls to keep us in alignment. If we don't have these kinds of controls, and I'm going to use the example of an alcoholic, if they don't have any control over the realities that they want to experience, then they're probably going to go down a self-destructive behavior. And that's not going to be something very good. But when you have the fear of God, before you even pick up that bottle because you realize what reality will be manifested because God literally is just all of these infinite possibilities and is the battery, you could say, that is driving consciousness to it all because we are all connected to it. We all have source, God, oneness, consciousness within us, and it is also within everything that we interact with and see that is living. So but when they pick up that bottle, if they don't have the fear of what's going to happen, what reality they're going to manifest, because guess what? Source loves us so much that they give us the freedom to do these things. But if we fear them, then we will turn off that part of our brain that's like, well, I want to do that. And instead, we'll be like, nope, bottle, don't need that. I'm going to actually focus on being aligned. Because guess what? This is actually infinite possibilities. So you could go down a slippery slope if you're not checking yourself. And you're not actually having a healthy relationship with fear in a way where you're using it. And this doesn't mean phobia when you're obsessively horrified, like, oh my gosh, God's going to strike me dead because I did this bad thing. No, it's just understanding that, hey, you live an infinite world of possibilities and fear is something that your human body has. You need to learn how to use it properly so that it's not controlling you. Because many of the times, and we can see so many people right now are being controlled by fear because they're not thinking they're not questioning logically. They're not using their judgment. Right now, they are just acting on this lower nature of, I need to fight or I need to flight. I need to do this and I don't need to think. But they're not actually being aware of the infinite possibilities that they live in and the realities that they are manifesting. So using fear of God, not in a way where you're horrified or petrified of this ominous source that you cannot really prove no what you should use your fear for and when people say fear of god or what i have gathered by understanding what the fear of god is it is the understanding that you can do the wrong thing but if you do the wrong thing you're going to have to reap that reality that's where you're going to be and it's not going to be the right reality of course Everything happens for a reason, not to judge anyone, right? None of us are perfect. But if you want to live an aligned life where you are really feeling balanced and connected with your soul and your higher self, then you have to instill certain levels of fear so that you correct your actions and the infinite realms of possibilities that are open to you now become more refined so you are actually embodying your highest self. 
I hope that that made sense, Good Viber. I really, really did. I know that this is definitely one of those more touchy subjects where a lot of people are like triggered by the word fear and they feel like there's no space for it in their reality. But let's be honest, we're human, we all feel it. So you might as well use it in a way where you're actually helping yourself instead of harming yourself. Bring awareness to wherever you feel any kind of fear and see how you can turn that fear into something you can leverage to encourage you to live a more aligned life for yourself. Only you know what that looks like, okay? And the more you can connect with source, this creative flow of energy that is within all beings there are so many names you have maybe your own name and your own unique connection the more you can connect to this the more you'll actually understand what it means to fear this being because they are actually in gave you control of all of the infinite realities and anyways i'm going on a rant okay so yes open yourself up to connecting with the living source of creating life okay that means just open yourself up to it look for that beautiful sign and the synchronicities in your own life how are they showing up in your own life it might be guides telling you hey don't do that do this or hey you might want to think before you do such a thing okay or hey the time is now act accordingly to your mission and that's really what I wanted to share in this video. I really do hope this has helped someone in some way. And if you found it helpful, press a thumbs up. Also, let me know. I know, again, this is a subject where I think we're all learning. And I'm always open to hear what your insights are on this topic. So let me know in the comments down below. Okay? Okay? And if you're still watching and you're just, like, wondering what to do now and you feel... You feel like the, the urge for whatever reason, whatever reason, check the links down below, okay? Anyways, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Namaste, fam. God bless.